Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance. And in this video, I want to show you how to use Adobe Fonts with Breakdance. So here I am on fonts.adobe.com. And let me choose the fonts I want to use on my Breakdance website. So I'll just go to All Fonts. And let me pick a couple fonts. So I'm going to pick a couple ridiculous looking ones just for illustration purposes. And to add a font to a web project in Adobe Fonts, you're going to click this little code icon. Very intuitive, Adobe. I know. Okay, you click that, add fonts to a web project, and then you're going to choose create or add to existing project. I'm going to create a new project, and I'll just call this Breakdance Demo Video, and then I'll click Create. And now if I want to add more fonts to this project, I can. I'll just click Done, and then I'll choose another font that I want to add, maybe this one. Click that same icon, and let's choose the Breakdance Demo Video project. There we go. Let's click Save. And now Adobe Fonts is going to give us some HTML code. We don't need all of it. We only need the URL to the CSS style sheet that contains the fonts. So what we're going to do, we're going to look for the href attribute. And this works not only for Adobe Fonts, but any other provider that hosts the fonts for you and gives you a CSS file. We're just going to look for href equals, and then we're going to copy out the URL to the CSS, right click and copy. And now let's go into Breakdance. And in Breakdance, we're going to go to the dot, dot, dot menu, Preferences, and then Custom Fonts. And then we're going to go to Use Fonts in External CSS. Click Add External CSS. And now I'm going to paste in the URL that I copied from Adobe Fonts. Now I'll click Add, and it's going to auto-detect all the fonts that were in that CSS file and make it so I can use those in Breakdance. Let's click Save Fonts. And then let's just close the dialog. And now we can use those fonts in Breakdance. So let's set it up. I'll go to the dot, dot, dot menu, global settings. Of course, you can use these on a per element basis as well, but I recommend setting your typography globally. Go to typography and let's for a heading font, choose one of the fonts we just added. And since Breakdance loves you, Breakdance puts the fonts that you just added right at the top of the list. Okay, let's choose for our headings. Let's choose Karake Solid. And there we go, Karake Solid for the headings. And for the body text, let's choose Lust Script Fine. And there we go, Lust Script Fine for the body text. That is how to do custom fonts from Adobe Fonts or any other provider that gives you a CSS file in Breakdance. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.